equality. And some people go, but we don't need feminism, we've already got equality, right? And then they <laughs> cherry pick an example to make their point. Like for example, here in the UK, people say, well, we've got a female prime minister, don't we? The, the, the prime minister is a woman. And I'm not a massive fan of Theresa May personally, that's my opinion, but I'm less of a fan of some of the ways she's been treated because she's female. Okay, so uh, like who remembers, during the Brexit debate, there was uh, the Daily Mail, which if uh, you're watching this in Australia, it's one of Britain's finest newspapers. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> should gauge your opinion off that reaction, but it ran a headline. This is the front page of the newspaper. It had a sort of like paparazzi style upskirt shot of Nicola Sturgeon, Prime Minister of Scotland, and Theresa May, Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. They both had their legs crossed like this, and it had a picture of the, both of them with their legs out, and the headline read, Never mind Brexit. Who won legs it? <laughs> These are the prime ministers of two countries, by the way. Never would have happened if she was a man. Like, I do not recall the front page of the Daily Mail in 2003, where they led with a crotch shot of Tony Blair and George W. Bush just tracing their cock contours out for the nation to see. You know, just with the headline, never mind Afghanistan. Who's packing the bigger Afghan ham? Turn to page six to check out their weapons of mass destruction. 